What is going on everyone? This video is a tutorial on how to configure an Amazon S3 event notification with Amazon Event Bridge. Specifically in this video, I'm going to cover how we can get an email notification every time a file is uploaded to a specific directory in my S3 bucket using an Event Bridge rule. The architecture to achieve this is going to look like this. So every time I upload a file to my S3 bucket in a specific subdirectory, my rule is going to then be triggered, which is going to send a notification to my SNS topic. With my email, I'm going to subscribe to this SNS topic. So then I get an email notification anytime a file enters my S3 bucket directory that I'm going to be watching. We're also going to cover how to achieve this when your SNS topic is encrypted. All right, to get us started, we're going to enable event bridge notifications on our S3 bucket that we're interested in monitoring. So before we can configure our rule, we need to make sure that this is enabled on our S3 bucket. So we're going to navigate to the S3 service. Now we're going to find that bucket we're interested in monitoring. In my case, it's going to be this data upload bucket here. And now on our bucket, we're going to go to properties. And we're going to scroll down on our properties page until we find Amazon Event Bridge. And we're going to make sure that this is enabled. So by default, this is not enabled. So we're going to have to go to edit and we're going to make sure that we toggle on and we're going to hit save changes. Great. Now that we verified that notifications is enabled on our bucket, the next step for this example is we're going to create the SNS topic, which is going to be the target for our event rule in event bridge. So let's navigate to our SNS service. All right. So I'm in my SNS service now in the console and we're going to hit topics and we're going to create a new topic. So for the type, I'm just going to use a standard. And why did I choose standard? Well, if we want to have email notifications, as you can see, the subscription protocol here, it allows for email notification first in first out. It only allows subscription protocol to be SQS. So I'm going to pass a name of my new topic. It's going to be called SNS email test. And for encryption for now, we're going to leave it disabled, but later we're going to come back to this to see what we need to do for our event notification service to work with encryption. Now we're going to navigate to our access policy to make sure that we can send this event to this specific SNS. So I like to lock it down a little bit. So we're going to say only the specific AWS account can send a message to this topic. So I'm just going to grab my AWS account number and put that in the console here. So who can subscribe to this topic? I'm going to say anyone from my particular AWS account just to lock it down a little bit. And finally, we should be good to create our topic. All right. So next on this SNS topic that we just created, we're going to enable an email subscription to this topic anytime an event happens. So we're going to navigate down on the subscriptions. Currently, it's going to be blank. We're going to hit create subscription. And for protocol, we're going to select email. And now we're going to pass in the email that we want to subscribe to this topic. So I'm just going to pass in my email address. So after we add our email address, we're going to hit create subscription. So before we can get notifications, we need to confirm our email address. So with that email, I'm just going to select this email and confirm subscription. Now, if we navigate back to our SNS topic and now we select our topic again, and we scroll down, we should see that our status is confirmed. All right, so now that our SNS topic and subscription has been successfully configured, we can create our event bridge rule. So in Amazon event bridge, we can on the left hand side, we're going to click rules. And now once we're in rules, we're going to go and create a new rule. All right, so our first mandatory parameter is to pass in a name of our event bridge rule. I'm going to call it S3 to SNS. And now we have to define the pattern. So this is going to be an event pattern because it's going to be coming from event in S3. Uh, we can select predefined pattern by service and we're going to select AWS as our service provider for the service name. We're going to find S3 and it's going to be simple storage service. And for the event type, we want an event coming through when a new file is being created. So I'm going to specify my event is going to be object is created. Great. 
Next, I'm going to specify the name of the bucket that we enabled event bridge for. Now, there, unfortunately, there isn't a parameter to pass the object through the UI. So we're going to have to go up to our event pattern and edit this event pattern for this to happen. So we're going to hit edit. And now what we see is we're going to see that the bucket name has been added to our event pattern. So after the name parameter, we're going to add a comma and we're going to add a space. And now we're just going to pass through this new key called object and it's going to have the prefix of the bucket that we're interested in monitoring. And now I'm just going to hit save. Now, if you had an error somewhere in your code and you hit saved, you're going to get an uh, error message and it won't let you save it. But in our case, this was successful and we should be good to start this rule. All right, so we're just going to go down to the very bottom of the page. And now the next part is to select our target. So for our target, remember, we want to send this to an SNS topic. So we're going to search at the SNS topic. And now from our drop down, we should be able to see that new topic that we just created. We can select the defaults for match event for configuration input and leave the retry policy as default as well. Great. So we have all our required parameters and we can go ahead and hit create to create our rule. All right, so to test out our workflow, I'm just going to now upload a new JSON file to the folder within my S3 bucket. So I'm going to hit upload. I'm going to select add file. And we're going to select the sample file that we want to upload. And we're going to hit upload. Great, so our file has been successfully uploaded to S3. And if all went well, we should have got an email notification that went through our event base rule. So I'm just going to navigate back to my email account. And as you can see here, we just got an email notification that a new file has been uploaded and we can see from the details being provided, our specific object that was uploaded here, type of request that came through. So we know that this works. This is great. Now, if you work for a big organization, you might have AWS policies that your SNS topics must be encrypted. So let's walk through how to configure EventBridge if your SNS topic is encrypted. So within our topic, we're going to enable encryption. So I'm just going to edit this SNS topic. We're going to enable encryption here. Now, I want to point out if we use the default key that protects SNS when no other key is defined, by default, we won't be able to write to our SNS topic through CloudWatch events. So we're going to have to create a new KMS key for us to do this. We don't have one already. So I'm going to navigate to the KMS service to create a new key. We're going to select create a key. It's going to be symmetric for the key material origin. It's going to be KMS. We can leave it to single region key and hit next. And for my alias, I'm going to call it SNS events. And now we're going to hit next. So now we're going to have to select our key administrator. So I'm just going to use my specific account and hit next. And now for who can actually use this key, we're going to lock it down to my account as well and hit next. All right, so we're going to have to make sure that our event service has two actions, which is decrypt and generate key. So after the first statement here, I'm going to update the policy. We're going to add a comma. So what we have done here is allowed the Amazon event service to decrypt and generate a data key. So now we'll be able to send our payload from our rule to our SNS topic. So I'm just going to hit finish. Great. So now if we go back to our simple notification service, we're going to go and find our email topic. Hit edit. We're now going to go back to encryption and hit enable encryption. Now, instead of using the default key, we should see that new key that we created. And we're now going to hit save. So now our SNS topic has been successfully encrypted. So now let's test this workflow again by sending another file to S3. Going back to our S3 bucket here, we're going to now upload a new file. Let's go to add file, upload that same file again, and hit upload. All right, a file has been successfully uploaded and let's check our email to see if we got another notification. All right, so we just got another notification came through. And as you can see here, we've been successfully notified through our encrypted SNS topic. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful and you now know how to configure an S3 event to send a notification to an event rule and configure that with an SNS topic.
Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video related to working with data on AWS.